Hi everyone, I'm Zach, and today I'm going to react to and review Diana Ankundanova singing the Mark Burns song, From What Does the Motherland Begin? Now, she uploaded this cover on Victory Day, which is a Russian holiday. I also want to point out that I listened to the original version, and I love the poetic yet patriotic lyrics within that song. Let's go. Oh, Geometry Dash. Да. I used to play Вы that game when that about a decade ago mm, or so. Потом. Что вам задали? Сочинение. А на какую тему? Чего начинается родина? Может, вместе напишем? I gotta say, the acting within the video's introduction is really good, as it is not hammy and in your face. I mean, I felt the genuine connection between Ildar and his mom, as they were very casual about discussing his homework. Speaking of which, I love that Ildar said the song's title before the music started, which is the perfect transition within a music video. Well, this is new. I'm a little surprised that Diana started the song singing in her quiet head voice because she usually starts off singing in her deep tone that she's known for. Yet, I'm not against it as she sounds beautiful. I wonder why she's singing the song that way. Also, is it me or do the gorgeous piano playing and the lovely strings capture a cinematic vibe? I mean, the instrumentation sounds like the score of a classic film. <laughs> Заветной скамьи у ворот, с той самой березки, что в ополе под ветром склоняясь растет. А может она начинается с весенней запевки скворца и с этой дороги присел. As the song goes on, I fully understand why Diana is singing in her head voice. That vocal delivery makes her sound happy and proud to be Russian. Not only that, I can feel her happiness as she's singing the poetic lyrics. And on the topic of the lyrics, this is the perfect song for her to sing, as her original songs are well known for having descriptive messages from in my huge city to burnt out i'm loving this <laughs> Колес, 
клятвы, которую в юности ты ей в своем сердце принес. С чего? I love Diana's vibratos because not only did she sound amazing, they allowed her to express her passionate feelings toward her home country of Russia. What really added to that passion was the unexpected key change and the addition of the dramatic percussion, making her more believable than before. Let's not forget that the wholesome music video perfectly highlighted the lyrical theme of nostalgia, while showing support for the motherland of Russia. This is a really solid cover. Out of all of the covers I've heard from Diana so far, this has to be my favorite. She really expressed her love for Russia through her intricate vocals. What I also love is that the instrumentation paid homage to the original version while adding more passion to the song through the key change. As for the music video, it allowed the lyrical message within the song to come to life, which, now that I think about it, is more believable when Diana sings about it. In other words, Diana made the song better than it was before. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please check out Diana's video link in the description box below. And take care.